where does Jesus say in the New Testament, yes. I am God, worship me? Hold on one second. Hold, hold on, hold on, one second. One second. Right. What I want from you yes. is empirical evidence. Yes. What I mean, when I mean empirical evidence, I don't mean evidence that could be open up to ambiguity. I'll, I'll, give, you the, I'll give you the I'll give you the evidence. I, I was very patient. Yeah, but I'll Listen, give you the evidence. What's your name? My name is David. David. Yeah. I was very patient in this yes. interview and I never once I never once interjected. I just wanna say my, I actually just wanna respond. I just wanna to respond to you right. and then we can we can have a, a follow up. Yes. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm so not do you, so but it's just he, 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 he no, no, me first. Go, 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 go. But I just wanna to respond to you and then I'll get to you. What I'm saying, right? Or if you want to make your case, yeah, no, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. Um, on, on the but don't go, David, right? I just want to respond to you. On, on the basis of, however you want to have this argument with you, Tony. I'm not telling you again. It's a kind of words. You know what I'm saying? I said the poor people should be saying. I promised last week that the Christians and the Jews had the Torah and Israel in their possession. That was my contention. And I was saying that there's nowhere in the Quran that says otherwise. That was the case. No, what I was, what I was arguing last week right, is you mentioned that the first five books are from Moses. Right? So what I was questioning is the authenticity of the book itself, right? And what I pointed out to you last week is Deuteronomy chapter 34, where Moses speaks of his own death, right? So to me, this is, this, this is, in my opinion, this is illogical. This is a logical belief to hold that Moses wrote his own death. So the example I gave to you last week is that if there's a cup of water and you had urine inside of it, then clearly this cannot be uh, pure. So the message, so what I'm trying to say, in other words, what I'm trying to say is that the message could be corrupted. That's what I'm saying, because there's evidence of manipulation. There's evidence of fabrication. A man cannot write his own death because he's dead. So that, that, that was really the point I was trying to raise. I, obviously, I know you were talking to the, uh, what's his name, last week. And yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like I felt that we, there were two conversations going yeah, on here. Yeah. Right? Well, let, let, let me just so, stop there, let me just stop there, but then I'll come back to what I said. Now, I don't think... Okay, I don't know if you... I don't, uh, you, I don't know if you, how well you know about this guy. Have you heard of a guy called Matthew Henry? Commentary. No, no, no. Probably one of the best expositors of the Bible. Yeah? And if you look up Matthew Henry's yeah. commentary of the Bible. And basically, he wrote a commentary of the Old Testament and New Testament. But just prior to him finishing, he died, unfortunately. Okay. And so basically his friends and family finished off his work, using his notes and whatnot. But to this day we call it the Matthew Henry commentary. Is that is that misguided? Would you say that's misguided? What the commentary? To call it the Matthew Henry commentary, even though he died prior to the finishing of his commentary. So I'm not understanding what you're trying to do. Matthew Henry, yes. Christ, one of the best expositors of the Bible, he wrote a commentary right. of the whole Bible, Old Testament, New Testament. He wrote a commentary, right, okay. But Jeff, he, he, he done all of the Old Testament and probably did about three quarters of the New Testament. And he died prior to finishing off the full commentary. You yeah. with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically what happened, his friends and family used bits of his notes to finish off his commentary work. So his family members? Finished. Friends and family, yeah. Right, okay. I finished it off. Right. Using some of his notes and stuff like that. Yeah. But basically, we, it's still, if you go look in, in, in the library or if you go look on Amazon, it's still called the Matthew Henry commentary. Okay. Do so you think that's deceptive? Well, I, it, like I said, I, if we were to compare it to Moses, right, if we were to compare it to what we were speaking about last week, right, I don't understand, I, and, and, I, and I'm trying to be as logical, coherent, coherent as possible as to how a man, I mean, I don't know if someone else wrote, I mean, I don't know if you're trying to say that someone else wrote his death, or someone added to the notes of Moses and reported how he died and what his situation was after his death. But the point is, is that what, the, the point that still stands is that the first five books is been attributed to Moses as the author of the book. This is what the primary argument was. Okay. So, how can a man write his own demise? And that's the, that's what I was asking. 
how is it possible for, for Moses to, I mean, I, I, I'm happy to get out there. No, 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 listen. To produce Last that. week, I don't know if so, you remember, I said to you that I believe somebody else wrote that portion. Yeah. But my question is, at that point, who wrote that? Who wrote that extra information? Because remember, that's still attributed to Moses being the sole author of the book itself. So what I'm trying to say is that if Moses wasn't the author of that, which clearly logically he couldn't have been, then how is it, um, you know, so the, the Bible itself is, is subjected to question. So we have to question its authenticity. Because, and it's not just that particular verse I'm, my, which my query was on actually. There are many other verses in the New Testament that is subject to questioning. Like for example, the first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7 and 8. It says that there are three record, there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost and these three are one. This verse has been taken out as an interpolation, as a fabrication, as an, an, as an addition as an addition to the text. So again, if we find evidence of additions and subtractions, then we cannot attribute this to God. This, this is what I was trying to say. We cannot attribute um, these types of mistakes. Because the, the, more, the more we go back, the earlier the sources, the more reliable the source is, right? So if we go back to the, one of the earlier sources, which is the Codex Sinaiticus, right? Uh, it states, uh, th th that verse in particular, the first epistle of John chapter 5 verse 7 has been taken out and in fact in the revised standard version authorised in 1952, it, there's a footnote, the footnote states that this verse did not exist in the previous earlier manuscripts. So, so my point is, my point is, is that if there is evidence of corruption, if there's evidence of verses that's been taken out, then we can we can reasonably question. That's all I would say. So, like I said, I think the authenticity of the Bible can definitely be uh, debated on a separate issue. But my point, what I was trying to raise last week, yeah. and, and I listen, okay, okay, let me just address a couple of your points, yeah? and then not to say I'm not trying to deviate. So I'm going to address the point. Yeah. So just say uh, somebody wrote the ending of Deuteronomy, to me it doesn't make, I don't, I don't think it's deceptive to say Moses is the author of Deuteronomy. Like, it's not deceptive to say Matthew Henry is the author of his comment. But do you believe that, do you believe that Moses is the author of Deuteronomy? Yeah, or the course, author? yeah Jesus thought he was. Okay. Jesus, yeah, Jesus said he was. Okay, but how is it rational that the, the deaf side of it has been written? No, but and Jesus, he's not, no, what greater authority than Jesus? No, no, I'm not, no, I'm not questioning Jesus. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking about the author, the authorship. Yeah. And Jesus said Moses. Who, who, okay. who wrote the book of Numbers? Do we know anything about the authors, the, the authorship? Yeah, Jesus said Moses. Sorry? Jesus said Moses wrote Moses. Where's your proof that? that, that? Look at Matthew 19. Okay, what does it say? You don't know what Bible? Okay, hold on. Was it? My battery is really long. Paraphrase, what does it say? Read it, I don't want to... Uh, just read it, read Matthew 19. God's words are much better than my words. Okay, before I get there, right, obviously you're quoting the New Testament. Tell me the surname of Mark, Matthew, Luke and John. Now, I'm, I'm not to be disrespectful. And I'm not diverting from Yeah, okay, not to be disrespectful. Yeah. You obviously don't know New Testament or Greco Roman history because none of them have surnames. Okay. That's why in the Bible you will say Mary, the mother of Joseph and James, or Mary of Magdala, or they would refer the person by something because they all had just first names. Okay, but okay, but the problem with that, right, is that that means That's like Jesus, that Jesus of Nazareth, right. That means we don't know anything about the authorship, right? Okay, so you're saying back then in those times there were no sur there were no surnames, but still for me <laughs> that might be an issue because usually if we look at if we look Matthew 19, we, we, read it from the beginning, get context from chapter one. You read it? 
Tu reçois Oui, je reçois. Donc, c'est ce que tu vas obtenir. Oui, bien sûr. Ou Jésus est dit que Moïse est dit. Matthew 19. Matthew 19. Okay. Okay. Go on. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. 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 Go on. Yeah. Go on. Some Pharisees also suggested that it's wrong for man to do the Jewish rite for every reason. Yeah. Go on. Haven't you read? There you go. No, no time. What did Jesus say? The baby is the There you go. There's your authorship right there. That's what it says. That's what it says. That's what it says. That he was the author of the book of Numbers. Deuteronomy. That's Deuteronomy. Yeah, Deuteronomy. Yeah. So, yes. what, so what part did it say? Now Moses. Moses. So, so it's mentioning what Deuteronomy. Yeah. What is it mentioning? Yeah. What is mentioning? Yeah. Moses. That's what Jesus. Said. No, but I'm not. I'm not in no, but that's what I was saying. Moses is attributed to writing the book of Deuteronomy, but yeah. then there's an exception where obviously he died, yeah. to which he could not have wrote that. Yeah. So, okay, so listen. So, so, so what I'm saying. So, so what I'm trying to explain to you. What, what, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. What, no, but what I'm trying to no, I don't think you understand. Okay, right, listen, listen, listen. To me. Yeah. What I'm saying is that at best we can argue he didn't write that portion of it. Is that right? O of his death. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. So my question is. What, who inspired, right, the person to write that part of that portion? Was that person inspired by God to write that portion of the text? Because what I'm saying, to, what you, can't, you can't say obviously, because the book, the book of Deuteronomy is to be attributed wholeheartedly to Moses as the author. It doesn't say there's a secondary author to it. Clearly, we can see a secondary authorship to that particular part. So. Okay, hold on. It's chapter, chapter 34. It's chapter 34. It just, it just summarizes the life of Moses. Yeah. Right, so it talks about nobody knows where he was buried. Alright, I'll find it. No, do, do to honor me, uh, 34. Right, it says here. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died. Right. So right. anyway, I read. It. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord, and he buried him in the valley in the land of Moab, opposite Beth Peor. But no man knows the place of his burial to this day. Does that sound like Moses right now? No, but that was narrated. Never get narrated. That there was narrated. By somebody, but it doesn't make any difference. Does no, it? But who wrote that? Who wrote that? Well, does it matter? Yeah, of course it does. Because he. Okay. The reason why it matters. The reason why. Hold on, let's finish. Let me finish. The reason why it matters is because Moses has been attributed to being the author, the sole author of the book of Deuteronomy. Right? So, as we can see here, that Moses is writing about his own demise. Right? So, clearly, this is, this is someone else someone else's hand moving in the text so i'm saying to you if there's evidence of for me i say this is corruption yeah, but who came, i'm who sorry came, and, and i'm saying to you yeah, but who, who, 
you just over from Moses? The point, I'm, I'm asking you, how do you know that Joshua didn't? No, but, no, but what about, in fact, that's what a lot of scholars say. Exactly, that's what they say. Joshua wrote Joshua the end of uh, Deuteronomy. Because he's okay. talking about the history of what happened to him. Because he took over. Show me in the text where the, 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 the likely, yes, it has to. No, why? Right, because you're doing, you're doing Easter Jesus. Easter Jesus is that you are giving out an interpretation that doesn't exist in the text. You're doing not you're not doing exegesis, you're doing exegesis. Show me from an exegesis that it was Moses. Or if you're saying it was Joshua, that it was Joshua who authored that particular section. There's, there's a lot of scriptures in the Bible, okay, which is attributed to somebody that is finished off or narrated by somebody. No, no, no. You're saying that it's, it's Joshua. So show me. Is it, sorry, Joshua. Yeah? Well, then it's, it's, a, then it's an empty argument. <laughs> it's an empty argument. Then the case closed. It's an empty argument. Okay, so this is the question I asked you last no week. Point, no point talking about it. Okay, let, let me just answer this question. Can you just, can you just answer this question? If Moses wrote everything except for that last bit of narration, is it wrong to attribute the book to him? Yes. It is. The reason why. Okay. The reason why. So this is where we differ. Right, okay. Right, okay. Yeah, of okay, I, yeah, we, we will differ. And I'll tell you why, why we will differ on this issue. Because this is a very important issue, right? I've also pointed out in the New Testament, right? That, for example, uh, Mark, chap no, no, I'm, I'm, we're talking about Deuteronomy, yeah, but I'm going to point out other sections of the Bible where I think it's subject to question. No, right? no, 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 because no, the reason why I'm asking, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'm, we'll go to Mark, but I just want to conclude this, because I gave him a present day example. Yeah. So there's, have you heard of Matthew Henry's uh, commentary? Okay, so Matthew Henry, basically, he commentated on the Bible. He, he did the whole of the Old Testament, and probably, Three quarters of the New Testament. He died just before we finished his commentary. And basically, he's his uh, friend, with his notes, finished off his commentary. So, what and commentary was this? Matthew Henry. Matthew Henry, he's, he commentated on the Bible. Okay. One of the most, the most popular Bible commentaries that we have. Right, okay. Basically, when you go to Amazon, when you go to the book store, it says Matthew Henry's commentary. And nobody thinks it's being deceptive by advertising it as that. And likewise, just because Moses didn't write his death, I don't think it's wrong to attribute the book to Moses. And I would say, Jesus attributes the book to Moses. So you don't get any more high on the board no, but we, than Jesus. No, no but, but irrespective irrespective of what Jesus says, with all due respect to Jesus, may the peace and blessings of God be upon him. But we have to look at the actual source itself, which is in Deuteronomy, where we do see that he is clearly not the author of that particular part. So, so can, I, say, can I ask you this question? Okay, no, sorry, you talk. What you're going to realise is this, yeah? Remember, Moses did not enter into the promised land for a reason, okay? And after him came Joshua, and God said Joshua's going to be the one, yeah? So that book that finished off talk about the history of him was written by Joshua. Yeah, but you need to show that. Yeah, but then, then it's, it's, the it's, a, it's an empty argument. It's an empty argument. It's an empty argument. Islam is not a religion. Islam is a political system designed to keep people in power. when Moses died. That is why it is. So this last bit, that is why they are always talking about that's your, that's your, that so I have to disagree with you, because you... Why do you, anyway. as an individual, want to take over in this country? Wow, what's the time? What is, re what is religion? Without you, as an individual, taking over this yeah. country? Yeah. That's the speculation. But they cannot predict who was the to keep certain people. Just to finish, in power. Just to finish my point. Just yeah. to finish my point. Just to finish my point. But and we it cannot gets, speculate it who was the ordinary Muslim people fighting each other. This is exactly my okay, point. Let, 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 let me ask you this question. Okay, can I ask you this question? The original order was Moses. It is a prison. I'm sorry. I've got a prison designed to prevent people from escaping. I've been raised. I've been raised. No. Okay, let me we ask you this question. Speculation. Speculation. Just, we 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 just,
just made speaking. That's an interesting point you made. The Lord, Lord is the Lord. 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 I am here. To to tell the people at the time, any question about the Bible, so about Jesus, to know why would anybody else I am here now. Yeah, but it's because you ask me any question. Can I ask you this question? Can I ask you this question? You see the Jew, the Jew, the Jew, the Jew today, they based uh, the legitimacy of the Holy Spirit from the Septuagint. You will be different. You will be different. You will be different. You will be More than 1400,000. Are you not the sinner? Amen. Good point. But you know, there's a lot of things to the Bible. How do you reconcile the gap? You will see that. No, 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 hold on. You will see that. The man is the sinner. From most of his time to exist now, is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> listen, okay, okay, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna bury you now. Show me Uthman's uh, uh, Quran. Where, where is it? Show me. Yeah, where is Uthman's Quran? Show me where it is. Allah Rabbi Rahman, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wa ala. Just been speaking to. Yes, He's been speaking to our brothers here, inshallah, had a great conversation with him, inshallah, maybe next week we'll be able to conduct this wonderful conversation next week, I mean, jazakallah khair.